Amanda's Kitchen. What I'm going to be making for you today is Newfoundland Jinx Dinner. Newfoundland Jinx Dinner is a traditional meal that's made by most Newfoundlanders at Sunday time for their lunch. Um, what I'll do is show you a few of our ingredients, what we're going to be using. Okay, traditionally Newfoundland Jinx Dinner is made with um, salt pork riblets or salt beef. Um, we are going to make it today with a side of chicken, stuffed baked chicken, which is stuffed with homemade breadcrumbs, savory, salt, pepper, onions. Um, so what I want to do right now, I want to get the salt pork riblets into my water. I got it started on the stove there. And I want to put my split peas in there because we have got, we had it soaking overnight into this uh, cotton bag and now it's ready to go into the water and then after once I do that I'll explain to you some of the ingredients that we'll be using and, um, and try to make this uh, an enjoyable meal for you and your family. Okay what we're going to do now is add our split peas and our salt pork riblets into boiling water and before I do that I'm going to put in a full onion and this will help uh, the split peas from burning at the bottom of the pot so I can toss it into the water and then we'll take the split peas and salt pork riblets you could use salt beef you can get it at most of your your grocery stores now and we'll put the peas pudding bag in there. I'll explain that to you a little as we go along and let that start to boil. Um, I'm going to explain a few of the ingredients that we're going to use into our jigs dinner today. We are going to use the salt pork riblets, cabbage, turnip, carrot, parsnip. This is the split peas, but we put it in a bag. Um, you can also put it in a pot to cook. And then we're going to be making a raisin pudding and a stuffed chicken uh, baked with uh, dressing. Okay, let's get started. Okay, next what I'm going to do, I'm going to start the stuffing for our chicken. I just cut up one small onion into small little cubes. We got a cup full of uh, grated breadcrumbs already there. And it's stale breadcrumbs because fresh breadcrumbs you won't, won't be able to grate as well. And you can also use store-bought bread. I'm gonna put about a teaspoonful of olive oil. Two grates of salt, uh, I got sea salt there. And a few grates of pepper. So that's about a half a teaspoonful of each one of those. I'm going to use a teaspoonful of savory, and you can get that in most of your grocery stores. Um, and you can also probably buy it online. And I'm going to mix this together there now. And I'm also going to add a teaspoonful of butter to this. I just want to incorporate all of the ingredients together. Okay, so that's a teaspoonful of butter. So mix all of that together. So now what I'll do is I'll get my chicken. And we'll, we'll start stuffing um, the dressing into it. The chicken I've had soaking in water just to clean. So I'll get that now and we'll get started. Okay, now we're going to clean our chicken. I had it soaking um, for a little bit. And now I'm just going to clean out the inside with a paper towel. And now we'll start stuffing our chicken. Okay, so let's take some of our dressing and start stuffing into the cavity of our chicken. Keep it stuffing until it's all in there. You don't have to be particular. Okay, so we got that stuff. Now I'm gonna wash my hands and we'll put some seasoning on there. All right, now I got that done. We're gonna take our seasoning. We're gonna put just a little salt and a little pepper. 
Okay, we're going to be adding our chicken now into our pot. I got a, my oven preheated at 350. I'm going to put a full, there's a small onion, I got it chopped, I'm going to spread over the top and around the sides, and a half a cup of water. So we already got the seasoning in there. Okay, now I'm going to be putting uh, my chicken in the oven at 350 degrees of heat for about an hour and a half. It's a small chicken. I'm going to cover it for the first half an hour, then I'm going to base it with the water in the pot, plus the boiling water of my salt, pork, and peas. Okay, let's put it in the oven. Okay, so now I get everything cleaned up from the chicken, um, we will start making our raisin pudding. So we're going to have a quarter of a cup of butter. And then we're going to be adding um, a cup of flour, a quarter of a cup of sugar, a pinch of salt, and a one and a half teaspoonful of baking powder. So I'm going to add all that in there. You, some, some people would like to, to do the blending of the sugar and the, and the butter first, but it's not necessary if you butter yourself. And a quarter of a cup of milk. Put that in there. So what we're going to do now is mix this together, and then we're going to add in our egg next. You don't have to pre-blend your egg. You can just crack it right into it. So then just stir this into it slowly. After you've mixed all the ingredients in together and it looks something like this, you're going to add a quarter of a cup of raisins. I'm using raisins, but if you don't like raisins, you don't have to have it in there. Or you could use blueberries or any sort of berry you like. So I'll we'll mix that in and it looks something like this. Okay, I just need to add half a teaspoonful of vanilla to our pudding, the very last step. Now, I add the pea bag soaking into, well, boiling water, but now it's, it's lukewarm, and squeeze the water out of it, and this helps your, pea, your pudding from sticking to the bag. So you open up the bag, position it on a plate, so as you can scoop your, your pudding into it. Okay, so let's start, start scooping our pudding into our bag, and leave about a half of an inch clearance between the top of your pudding and a tie off on your bag so that it's got room to breathe because it will rise quite a bit and then we'll just continue scooping it into your bag now you can also bake this pudding in the oven same 350 degrees for about 20 minutes to a half an hour if you want to put it into a baking container but I like my pudding boiled with my jigs dinner. That's your traditional way. Okay, so I'm going to be tying this cotton bag. If you can't buy your cotton bag into a, a store or a market, you can make it. It's just cotton cloth. Now, I'm using thread for tying it in the bag so as it keep it from coming out. And you can see I got the clearance there for the pudding to rise. Okay, now we're going to be putting our pudding into our pot. Okay, now I'm going to be tying this bag to the pudding bag that's already there to keep it off the bottom of the pot because I don't want it to burn. Okay, so now I'm just using ordinary um, wool, but you could use thread of any sort. It's just to keep it, as you can see, off the bottom and into your boiling water. Okay, now that we got our peas and our pudding tied off off to the side, remember to tie it off to the handle of your boiler and not hanging because you don't want it to catch a fire or burn. This, uh, it'll stay in there boiling for about an hour and then after when uh, it boils we'll check it and then we'll start uh, adding in our vegetables. Okay, so now we're going to check on this chicken. And I'm going to give it a little basing. It's been in there for about an half an hour. So we'll base it with our juice from the chicken. And now I'm going to leave the, the lid off and let it brown for a bit. So this is half an hour. And I'm going to put a little tiny drop of my vegetable, um, not my vegetable, my beef boil from the pot. So we'll leave that lid off there now and we'll put it back into the oven for another half an hour, 40 minutes, 
until it's cooked. Okay, now I'm going to be taking the, the pea bag and the pudding bag out of the water. And we'll bring it over to the counter and I'll take it out of the bags and then we'll start our vegetables into our pot. Okay, so now I'm going to take the strings off of the pudding bag and the pea bag. And we'll, I'll show you this portion of it. We get this ready in advance. The bag is pretty hot, so be careful. We get this ready in advance because we need this out of the pot before we start our vegetables in there. Okay, we're going to be doing a teaspoonful of butter and a couple of cracks of grated pepper. And let's mix this in with your peas just to cream it up a little. After you cream it, cover it with some foil wrap or a lid and then put it aside till your dinner is ready. Okay, so let's just cover the peas. We'll put it over, add it away. And now I'm going to be taking out my pudding. So again, I'm just going to slide it out of the bag. And it's just going to look like this. Okay, so this is our pudding. I'm going to cover this now. And again, put it aside until our vegetables are all cooked for our jigs dinner. Okay, so now we're going to be taking our chicken out of the oven. I got it turned off at this point. Okay, so this is what our chicken is going to look like. It's all cooked. We'll leave it in there until we're ready to take it out of the pot and make our gravy. But what we'll focus on now is putting all of our vegetables uh, to start off our boil. Now we're going to put our vegetables in. Before I do, I just want to make mention that I only used one piece of salt riblets. But uh, the more you use, you would need to drain the pot uh, of your salt water. I only use one, so I don't need to drain the pot. But uh, I'm cooking for four. If you want more than uh, that, certainly remember to drain off some of the water off your boil. I'm gonna put the cabbage in first. Slowly put it in, this is boiling water. And I'm gonna put the turnip in with the cabbage because that takes the longest to boil. And then after when it boils for about 20 minutes, then you can add in your carrot and uh, your potato. Okay, so let's just continue putting this in and we'll start the boil on this again. Okay, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna start our gravy while we're waiting for our vegetables to cook. And we're gonna add in one package of chicken seasoning, it's OXO. And I'm gonna put a couple of little, little shakes of pepper. We'll let that finish boiling there so now we'll go over and we'll make our thickening for that. So now we're going to make our thickening for the gravy. I'm going to have three tablespoonfuls of flour and about I'd say a cup of water. So now you seal it in your mason jar, shake it so there's no lump. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to take our thickening and we're going to gradually whisk it into your broth for your gravy. And this is your drippings from your chicken and your vegetable broth. Continue adding your thickening in until it gets the density that you would like your gravy. You don't have to have it too thick or, you know, you don't have to have it like a du jour. But, uh, that looks about nice there. And let it continue simmering. And then we'll put, add in our vegetables to our boil pot. Okay, so now we're going to add the rest of our vegetables in to our boil, which would be our carrot. I'm going to add it all in there. Be careful you don't burn yourself. We're going to add in our potato. And remember, I will, you know, post this on my Facebook page so that you'd know how much to make for a family of four because this is what I'm making here now and I'm going to add in my parsnip. I got two pieces of parsnip and that can add in when you add in your potatoes. Okay so now we'll take out our vegetables. So all the vegetables have cooked nicely. I'll uh, scoop it out into this bowl and then um, it's ready for serving. Okay, now our jigs dinner is finely cooked. We got in this bowl our vegetables, is a turnip, carrot,
potato, cabbage and our parsnip. We got our roasted chicken with stuffing, our pork riblets, raisin pudding, peas pudding and our gravy. So we got all of our vegetables and our chicken and our pork on our plates. We're going to put up a nice scoop of gravy and this is your Jake's dinner. Okay, so now we have got our Jake's dinner complete. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Bonita's Kitchen with Newfoundland Jake's Dinner. Um, please feel free to share with your family and friends um, this video, this portion, and stay tuned for my next episode of Bonita's Kitchen.